crumble. And we all know her best as Stacey from Gavin and Stacey. But now Joanna Page has left Barry Island behind to head uh, for a set jetting adventure. It will make sense. Over the next few weeks, uh, Joanna will be... Sometimes we get too clever. Well, we? I know I normally get things around the wrong way, but I actually meant to there for a very good purpose. Um, she's going to be visiting some of the UK's most famous filming locations. And Set. on her first trip, uh, we've sent her off with a marmalade sandwich to explore the wonderful world of Paddington. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> Gavin and Stacey put Barry Island on the map when it first burst onto our screens in 2007. In the UK, almost half of us would consider visiting a destination after seeing it in a show or a movie. Whether it be busy train stations, sleepy Yorkshire towns, or historical buildings, virtually anywhere can be the setting for your favourite film and TV shows. And in this series, I'm going to be visiting some of my favourites. The first stop on my tour is the world-famous Paddington Station. This has been the backdrop for many famous films and television shows. None more fitting than... Paddington! For those unfamiliar with the films, Paddington, which was beautifully brought to life by the director Paul King, follows the story of a young bear forced to leave his native Peru. He makes his way to England in search of a new home. The bear is dubbed Paddington by the Brown family, with whom he eventually finds shelter. Both films have enormous heart as well as great laughs and charming humour, which were all created by the direction, comedy timing and acting. And it's right here where the family first meet Paddington. Hello. The low-key lighting combined with specks of brightness really help in creating an enchanting mystery. It is, after all, a talking bear from deepest, darkest Peru. Well, I'm a very rare bear. There aren't many of us left. This station holds an extra special place for me, as it was also where Gavin first proposed to Stacey. <laughs> Stacey? Will you... Freeze! What? In the show, however, the interior was actually Marlebone that was dressed as Paddington. One of the most memorable locations from both films is Gruber's Antique Shop, which is located here on Portobello Road. I'm chatting with Douglas, the owner of Alice's Boutique, which was transformed for Paddington. How did they first approach you about Paddington? A guy just walked into the shop and said, this is an ideal place for Mr Gruber's. And they came the next day and said, really interested in filming. It was incredible. It was about 100, 120 people. It was like an, an, like an army just came over and took over the street, put their signs up, Mr. Gruber's, and took, obviously took my signs down. That took about two days. And then they filmed for about three days and three nights non-stop. And I've never experienced anything like this. You know? And now when I go to the cinema, I realise how amazing jobs some of these guys do. So have you noticed a difference since then with the shop? We have an awful lot of families coming in asking to see the book, Mr. Gruber, and I have to look at the kids in the eyes and say, Mr. Gruber's on holiday, I'm afraid. Oh, it's gone, it's gone yes. not, you know, that's why I always say that. And it's really, really special. I introduce myself now as the shop in Paddington Bear, and they go, oh, I know that. The exterior of Gruber's was modified from its original form as Alice's Boutique into the place we know and love from the film. The interior, however, was a set that was created by the excellent Gary Williamson and his team. He's joined me to discuss this transformation. So where did the inspiration come from for the shop? Um, my inspiration comes from first the script and then talking to the director and finding out what he wants or she wants. So I start to draw. That leads to something else and that leads to another idea and another idea. Well, the whole world that you've created is just magical to me. Yeah, I mean, that's the right word. Well, it, it is, <laughs> and it's sort of what my idea of London was before I, you know, came to live in London or anything, and all of the different coloured houses. I mean, did you choose to have those painted? Yeah, we painted the browns was blue, Mr Curry's was a kind of green, because we wanted it to be a storybook mm. type of image. What did you do with the tube station? We looked for ages for a nice tube station and again we wanted to hark back. I think it was built in 1915, that tube station, and it was beautiful. It's untouched. The dressing up of real locations, such as Maida Vale, is all from the mind of the director and created by the brilliant production design team. Good morning. That prison and the whole dance routine at the end, I mean, that's just now iconic, isn't it? Follow me. In creating the prison, Paul's brief was small burr, big prison. Right. So you wanted the feeling of this little child. He's a child going in in this amazing, huge space where you feel 
really alienated. And then the dance sequence didn't happen until we'd built the prison. <laughs> Because yes. it was organic, it just that oh, the staircase looks great. Oh, why don't we have Hugh do a dance? So I didn't expect 25 male dancers. <laughs> we'll stay cozy and dry. When I said I like to draw, it's <gasps> just to show you. Just Goodness, from reading wonderful. the script and trying to get ideas down on paper. There's nothing that I love more than, you know, when you finally got your costume on, you're finally ready to film, and you walk onto this world that you have created. This oh, is... my goodness. So that's the mock-up of oh. the pop-up book. Oh, Mr Gruber, it's wonderful. Absolutely over the moon to do them, and they're both brilliant films. I, mean, I cry I... every time. Me too, <laughs> me too. The films are a love letter to the capital, as represented by many of the London motifs and showcasing of the landmarks throughout. No place is more London than the Brams House, which is the perfect place to end my tour. I'm feeling a little bit peckish. I wonder if they give me a marmalade sandwich. Oh, go on then. It oh, is. stunning. Such that's a good, a good series of films. You've got it. That's a weekend sorted, watching those back-to-back. -back. Yeah. My favourites. Yeah. Very, very good. <gasps>